Good morning, and welcome to The Morning Huddle, your daily dose of change experience. I'm your host, Steph Simich, and today is Meetup Monday, where we start by clarifying our purpose and direction for the week ahead. This week, we will be exploring the concept of alignment versus allurement. I first heard about this concept when reading the book, Limitless. In this book, the author emphasizes the importance of carving our own paths by staying true to our values to live our best lives. Today, we'll touch on how aligning our actions and our decisions with who we are is the best change that we can experience. Alignment is like staying true to yourself and making choices that really matter to you. It's about living in line with your values and your long-term goals. On the other hand, allurement is when you get swayed by external stuff that takes you off track. It's like the distractions that tempt you away from being your authentic self and reaching your potential. So by choosing alignment over allurement, you're staying focused on what's important and making intentional decisions to have a more fulfilling life. Simply put, alignment is what centers us and allurement is what pulls us. Now, I believe in change experience because I have grown and healed from personal, professional, and self-inflicted trauma through experiences that have changed me. I know that real metaphysical and psychological change is possible, and I also know just how much work and pure desire it takes to make that change happen. In 2018, when I knew my life had to change, I started by practicing skills that the person I wanted to be would have. So what that means is I sat back and I really thought about the person I wanted to be. And I didn't think about the financial security. I didn't think about my looks or my relationship status. No, I thought about the behaviors that the person I wanted to become would exhibit. And then I just started practicing those behaviors. The main one that took me years to build and I still practice every day is communicating to completion. Now, this one is hard because when you want to adapt how you communicate, you aren't really able to like test the waters by practicing the skill in secret. Like if I wanted to go learn how to play the guitar, I could go get lessons and practice outside of my house and no one in my life would know I was doing that. But when communication, because it crosses like all relational boundaries, once you start building your communication skills in one area of your life, it overflows into those other areas. When I first was doing this, it really was scary, but it was also my first taste of creating experiences that inspire change. Because when I was more patient in my communication, when I sought to understand over being right, others around me started to do the same. When I modeled communication principles like double clicking, as we'll get into later this week, others did too. When I modeled active listening by consistently confirming my understanding of conversations, and then actually following up on it, others did too. And now I'm proud to say that five years later, every single person in my life that I communicate with on a weekly basis, they all use my favorite phrase, my three favorite words of the English language, tell me more. When I envisioned this perfect me back in 2018, I saw a confident woman who was able to effectively communicate and collaborate on solutions rather than problems. Now, that's a tall order any way you look at it, which meant that I had to work on individual behaviors piece by piece, which started with me and how I spoke and listened to others. And this is why change experience is the hill that I am willing to die on. Had I not created a different experience for myself and others when communicating this thing never would have changed. I couldn't just tell myself to talk better and I couldn't just tell others to to listen better. I advocated for change experience after years of feeling and observing real change being made by impactful experiences. During your reading of Limitless, you will be exposed to real world stories where people are just tired of expect, accepting roadblocks from the status quo, and they decided they wanted to experience a life without limits. The book's full title is Limitless, How to Ignore Everybody, Carve Your Own Path, and Live Your Best Life, which is very fitting for what we're trying to accomplish here. <laughs> The author, Laura uh, Odding, outlines what it means to ignore everybody, or as I like to reframe it, like learning how to identify what you want in this life so that you can have the confidence to carve your own experience path to truly have a life where you can say that what you do and how you do it 
aligns with who you are. My goal with sharing this book and more like it is to gain your continual buy-in to the transformative power of change experience. Thank you for joining me today on The Morning Huddle, your daily dose of change experience. I'll see you right here tomorrow for Team Tuesday, where we discuss how to remove alluring distractions from our team's lives by fostering an environment of alignment. Until next time, I'm your host, Steph Simich, signing off, encouraging you to focus on what centers you versus what pulls you. Remember, change starts with each and every one of us. And I'm asking, are you ready to experience the change?